Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, too, folks. Disconcern the truth. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make an assumption, we misunderstand, we take it personally, then we react by sending emotional poison with our word. This creates a whole big drama for nothing. I have to read that card a few more times, even though I've been reading now these uh, maybe about 15 years. <laughs> Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 195, NASDAQ up 22, S&P's up 11 and a half. Gold, gold contract, trading down a buck 40 at 1965 an ounce. We got silver down 30, uh, up 39 cents at $23.53 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Down a buck eighty, seventy-six dollars forty-seven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note down twenty-one ticks, trading one hundred eight oh seven. Thirty-year up a full point plus six ticks at one fourteen oh eight. And king dollar, king dollar right now trading up three hundred and fifty-five ticks at one hundred four four oh eight. The euro is at one hundred eight. The yen is trading at one fifty-one. The British pound is at one twenty-four to one U.S. dollar. <coughs> Excuse me. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you have a market that wants higher price. You got an ABC structure up, confirmed ABC, that is. And on the S&Ps, that, uh, the Spira, that's 462. Now, you can see what happened. You took the... You, on Monday, well, let's go like this. So on Friday, what you did is you took the B point out and you took it out with volume. And that gave us an ABC structure up to the 462 mark. Yesterday, the CPI comes in, comes in light. You get another sign of strength. You get a you know, gap higher, bottom line, you know, 449. We're 12 points away, away from an ABC structure up now. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX, also confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Now, the NDX has always, you know, been stronger than the uh, S&P. Right now, we hit 370, you know, 387.75 would hit thus far. The, the last high that was out here three, in the last six months ago is that 387.80 uh, or something, okay? No, 98, 397.98. Now, on the Qs, you're talking about a 402. So if we take a look at this, you know, you're talking about a 402. Now, this is what's cool. Now, watch this, folks, okay? Because this is what's going to be really important. Okay, so I have this on a weekly now, right? Today's Wednesday, okay? Now, if we took out the, we just get a little bit higher, meaning... We, we take out the 387, yeah, it's going to be the 387, 98. And if we take it out with volume, let me see this. You're going to have a monster ABC up. Well, so let me see this right now. So we're going to need 382 million. You're at 150. Doesn't look like it could get it this week. So, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. We know we get an ABC structure up now to 402, but you can see this there's a there's a larger, there's a larger structure here, you know, right there. That structure is pretty intense. Because when you even look at that structure, watch this. Where are you? Right there. So this leg here, yeah, the last leg we had up in the NASDAQ only did a 0 0.382 retracement. So if it does take it out with volume, that's going to be one large ABC structure up. That will blow away the highs. 
pretty intense, man. There's no doubt. Now, check it, check this out. This is going to be really cool. Now, watch this. I never knew there was such a thing, but what, what you, I want to show you something here for a second. So here's the 10-year note, okay? So my take is that, you know, we're going higher price, lower yield. But guess what? What makes the market is that there's plenty of folks that think that interest rates have not peaked yet, okay? You can see yesterday, huge sign of strength. You know, yesterday we did uh, 2.4, 2.5 million contracts today are 2.1. Now, let me show you why we're at 2.1. If you're watching Tiger TV, I'm going to put this up here. If, in, if you're not, if you're in the car, remember that this is archived. Well, what this is, folks, is that these, all these trades that you, you see, an appetite to fade the treasury, these are all shot positions that will put on bottom lines this morning, okay, because, and they were block trades, and they, they're done, I, I'll go through this, but you want to see these sizes here, folks, this is thousands of contracts at, at the, basically, you know, they, they're giving you the, the numbers and what they were, 10-year, 5-year, 2-year, they're, you know, they're doing the whole ball of wax, but check out what this is. Bond traders reload bets on high yields after massive rally. Rate traders are pulling back into the, uh, piling back into the bets on higher U.S. Treasury yields after a huge rally on Treasuries gave them a more attractive price. Wednesday session kicked off in Asia with a flurry of large, privately ne negotiated transactions known as block sales in the futures market, linked to the Treasury bonds. Block sales. And Asia session were followed by further shot wages on the five and ten year contracts in New York, trading as yields rose after a stack of mixed economic data at 8.30 a.m. The trades help explain Wednesday's rebound in yields following Tuesday's inflation rally. It's pretty cool, man, just thinking that that's, that's how this is. Now, if I go back to this chart, Okay, what this chart is saying is that you're up on volume, you're still coming back with lighter volume, higher prices are still coming at you. So another big surprise with another rally, you could have all those have to be closed again. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back.